Hello. Hi. It's been a long time. So, I'll just dive right into it. Uh, today, I will show you guys how I go about making cart um, a cartoony eye. Uh, similar to this one. This is what we'll be making today. Yeah. By the way, this is my Deviant Art account. Uh, Floozy Woozy. I'm sorry for the name. It's kind of weird. Uh, made it back in uh, high school, I think. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we'll be making this eye. I'll be showing how I make this. Yeah, because uh, one day I was like, I was inspired by you know um, the Pixar films, DreamWorks, and stuff. I think I was watching Wreck It Ralph, and yeah, the the eyes just the eyes were amazing. So. I kind of I kind of figured out a way to recreate those eyes and it's kind of cool I want to show you guys all right so obviously we'll start out with a sphere um, yeah start with a sphere let's scale this up to three there so it's all scaled up to three and now for the subdivisions just bring it down to eight all right so we can work with it all right, so now what you want to do is, wait, I think eight is a bit too much. Yeah, maybe 16. No, oh, that's a lot to, hmm, give it 10. Yeah. Okay, one more, um, bring it to, yeah, I guess 16 works, yeah. All right, let me check the reference again. Just to be sure. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Um, you know what? Bring it back to 20. 20 works. All right. So, 20 works. Let's, let's get to it. So, I'll start from here. If you uh, select that edge ring by holding down shift and double clicking there then if you hold down shift and the uh, greater than button you know that um, that button that looks like wait let me type it down <laughs> for those of you who don't know it's this button here this one okay so if you hold that down it will grow your selection and you don't really have to go in and really select that so there I grew that selection and yeah let's extract that so extract faces great alright so now what we do is we take this object and if you hold down D and V you can drag that to the middle here you can drag that pivot point to the middle yeah so now the pivot is in the middle uh, actually we don't want that there so let's go to side view I was holding down spacebar and if you left click on Maya you can switch between views okay so if you hold down D and V again and then you click on the Z axis we can move it down snapping it to the verts along Z axis so I want to snap it to this vert here and I want to scale that down to negative space so we can scale that to negative one on Y you can check your x-ray view here let's go back to perspective now we want it to bend in just a bit more so maybe let's do 1.5 negative 1.5 yeah I think that's looking nice you guys can always customize this to what you want um, yeah so for now I'll just work with negative 1.5 I do suggest you guys experiment on this because it will have different um, looks to it different feels to it and it's kinda cool so yeah now select these faces here in the middle then keep on scaling on Y until it flattens out so now it's nice and flat and then now we can extrude in so just extrude that in 
and then extract this as well so extract faces by holding down shift and right click you get this right click menu alright so extract those faces um, the pivot is all the way here so let's go in and modify that go to your modify menu and center your pivot and scale that up oh forgot to deselect the yeah so scale that up alright okay so now let's recombine these guys um, so I select this and this and go to combine now I have to merge the verts here it's really simple you guys don't have to worry just select those verts like that then with your shift menu again shift right click up and merge vertices and if you hit 3 to smooth that out you'll see that it's nice and merged okay now this is an issue um, my normals are reversed so it's simple just select this ed edge ring grow your selection then again with your shift menu um, face normals go to reverse normals and now it's gonna be nice and clean alright if you guys wanna check in the future because I know that um, normals is a problem it's a really big problem with with beginners um, I usually turn on shading back when back when I wasn't very aware of it I used to turn on uh, back face culling and as you can see since this one is also reversed um, it will turn transparent and you'll be aware of which faces are reversed and which faces are not so if we select these faces again just select that then shift right click um, the right click menu holding down right click right I'll go to face normals then reverse normals alright great <coughs> so now let's yeah I'll just keep that on yeah it's not like we're gonna be making anything else with it but hey alright so let's get into shading oh no we have to fix the model first of course we do alright so let's insert edge loops let's tighten this thing up um, I'll put an edge loop here and an edge loop here now for this edge loop I want to scale it up a bit and as you can see it's gonna add that nice rim to it yeah, I'm a big fan of those things um, let me select that again let me just pull that back just a touch Yeah. so I really like that rim and I'll do the same here so insert edge loop here and here oh sorry here there so now we have a nice tight um yeah wait let's push this back a bit more wait uh you know what I need to be side view again let's turn on x-ray yeah let's just push this back a bit more a bit too much yeah there that should work and back in perspective I'll take my edge ring push that the back side view yeah all right <coughs> and there you go nice all right now the last thing we have to do is um, let's just go in and separate the UVs okay so now we'll be working with UVs so let's go to edit UVs UV texture editor let's just open it up now the UVs are nice and uniform but for eyes you don't really don't really want that um, well you do want it to be uniform but in a different pattern right so I'll just take these again grow my selection and let's go to create UVs planar mapping and let's map this at Z, right? Hit project. Um, yeah, project. There you go. So you have this. And next will be everything else. So how do we select that? Um, if you go to select uh, by shell, you can easily click on this. 
Oh, that's not what I want. There you go. So this shell. So let's click on this shell. All right. Now let's go and hold control, right click. Now this is another menu. Let's go to faces and then two faces and it will select the faces for you. Now as you can see this is separated so let's just select that too. Uh, all I did was just grow the selection right? Okay then go to create UVs, planar mapping again and it will map to Z. Alright. <coughs> now this guy just do a planar map, quick planar map. And that's it. Alright. See? Very simple, very quick, very easy. Okay. Now, let's go and shade this thing. Alright. Before shading, uh, I, I do like to set up a few things. Um, first of all is basic lighting. But for lighting, I would also want reflections. I'll just take uh, in mental ray. I'll just place in a quick um, image-based lighting. So let's go to image-based, create image-based light. This is really just for reflections. And now I have to go in and look for an image in my messy computer. Wait, real quick. Uh, I have to fix this. <laughs> All right. Mm. There you go. Panorama. Okay. No, actually, I don't want that one. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Picky. Yeah, let's work with this one. It has more reflective um, information. And I don't like working. If I render this out right now, like this, let's just render that out. Uh, as you can see, um, the background will show up here, and it kind of messes with your eyes, like especially when you're shading, you just want to concentrate on what you're working on. So here in your render stats, in B mental ray IBL shape, just uncheck uh, primary visibility, and if you render this again, um, he'll be. Uh, he'll be isolated so if I render this there it's isolated and another thing I do want to put in if I select my camera by clicking this icon here if you go down to environment in background color because black uh, again it's another color thing you always want to work with 50% um, gray and to get that just type in 0.5 in your value here at the bottom there if this does not come out make sure you're in HSV here HSV and that should come out so now when I render again it will be in 50% gray all right great so now again in your uh, I want to activate one last thing uh, final gathering just bring that to bring accuracy to 10 and point density to 0.1 and that's it that will, that's just for render speed, so it renders fast. Yeah, there you go. So now it's taking the lighting information from the uh, image-based light. So now it's easier to shade. It's lit-ish. It's not really lit. Uh, we're using an image. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, let's go in and shade this. So again, by holding down right-click, just right-click without shift, that, that's what I love about Maya. It's like uh, you hold down shift, it's another menu. You hold down control, it's another menu. You hold down right click, it's also another menu. And it's nice because everything's there. You don't really have to go in and click on, you know, all the other stuff. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, hold down right click and go to assign. Assign. What? Assign. <laughs> Favorite material um, surface shader. Because our 
um, iris, no, our, our pupil, yeah, our pupil does not have any color information, does not have any reflective information, no lighting information, so it's nice and flat, yeah. Right, then for our iris, um, just grow that selection, and we'll apply one here. So, hold on, right click, assign favorite material, and let's go to Mia X Passes. If that's not in your favorite material, just do assign new material, and in your mental ray, um, go to Mia X Passes. You can type that in search, Mia X Passes, here. All right, so in the past, somebody had an issue uh, I could not find a mental array. So it's quite simple. Just go to your window, settings, preferences, and in plugin manager. And if you look for Maya MR here, Maya to MR dot bundle, just um, check on that. Don't worry, mental array comes with Maya, so it's going to be there. Just look for it. If you're using 2013, it's at the very bottom in this separate um, mental array folder for plugins which is kind of handy. So yeah, just make sure that's checked and you'll have mental ray. All right, so now I want to select the opposite. So I just have to hold down shift and select everything. It will select the opposite for me. Really simple. So again, holding down right click, assign new material. Uh, in my case, it's in my favorites, Mia X passes. All right. So now if I hold down spacebar, because I want to open my I want to open my hypershade, so hold down spacebar, right click here on the upper portion, then you'll see hypershade and perspective. There you go. So now my perspective is open. Now all I have to do is select the Mia materials that I'm using. So let's graph this, holding now right click again, graph this. And to check which part of this was, just go to select objects with this pass. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's just color code it. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this is white. <coughs> there. I'll just leave this as white. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make it white. And then now for the. No, actually, there's one more thing. You want to bring down reflectivity to 0.2. Yeah. 0.2 or 0.27. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Now, this is the iris. This is where all the heavy lifting will go. So let's just go in and start with a ramp. Now, if you guys watch my eyeball tutorial, we used a lot of ramps. <coughs> So that was ramps and a layered texture here. All right. So let's plug in the layered texture, middle click drag into uh, diffuse, and then this ramp into default here. Whoa, glitchy, glitchy. Default, there. <coughs> so now we have a ramp in there. Let's open up our ramp. So the ramp is huge, right? So we have to we have to manage this. So start off, let's just go go with um, a circular ramp. Okay, now it might be acting weird. So let's go to our render and let's go to viewport 2.0. Okay. Mm, don't crash. There you go. <laughs> All right, then activate textures, and we should see the ramp there now. Now the ramp is acting normal. Yeah, that's the thing with Maya. You just have to slap it around a bit, and it will start to cooperate. <laughs> it's like a, it's like you're robbing a bank or something. So, anyways, <laughs> let's just scale this red up a bit, so it affects this area. Then this goes a bit down. Let's add another one by just clicking on it. 
then you can yeah let's just sharpen that a bit yeah there see we have like a nice outline there and then this color should be a bit brighter because it's in the middle and the outline You know, I think it um, let's match this blue a little bit. Okay, so now the thing is we have to decide what color our eye will be. So I'm gonna go with um, I'll go with my regular brown eyes. I don't know, I just don't like blue. <laughs> yeah, so it's all in the shading. So once you have one color down, it's easy to just click on it and just make it darker. And then maybe saturate it up a bit more. And then now, let's go to this one. Click on that color. Maybe amp up the value. Bring up the saturation a bit. Amp up more of the value. There. Scale him up a bit, I guess. Yeah, then let's click on this dark one here. Okay. And one more thing, instead of having it linear, go to smooth and it will smooth everything out. Okay, we're starting to shape it up a bit. I'm not a big fan of this color. Maybe we could darken it or lighten it. So it's really experimenting with the colors. So until you get a certain mix you like, Yep. One last thing in the middle. All right. Wait, where did our where did the pupil go? Render default. He's right there. What is wrong with it? Oh yeah, backface culling does not work with um viewport 2.0 remember that so there now we can see it All right so I want to make this outline a bit darker but not just yet because I'm I think um, I think that's because we did not we did not apply the um, iris lines yet so don't worry about that I do want to bring it down a bit more though to close in um, just bring down that dark color a bit. Yeah. I think I could delete this entirely. No, not too much. Yeah, okay. So I'm happy with this. Now let's go in and take a noise. Um, noise procedural. Noise procedural texture. Then let's throw this into the layered texture and default again. Select that noise and bring up implode. There you go. And the layered texture, this has to be on top. So I'll bring it on top. And before I do anything, let's just modify it a bit. So I don't want to bring implode up too high because I do want to maintain this kind of breaking. You see this breaking here? I like it nice and broken a bit. So let's do 0.95. There you go. It's nice and broken. We can bring up frequency to make it more um, populated than frequency ratio. I think that's too much. Bring that down. Yeah, it's a nice mix. Just keep on mixing until you get something you like. You can even rotate that and stuff. But yeah, we'll just leave it at that first. Okay, now it's on top. Instead of having it over, let's multiply that. And it will blend in. There you go. It's a nice blend. Alright. So let's bring down the alpha a bit. Just make it a bit transparent. We don't want it to be solid black. Alright. Now let's go back to our base ramp. And we want to mix this up a bit more. So let's make this black here, down here. Not all the way. Just 
bring it down, touch, yeah, somewhere there. Now this has to be a bit darker. This as well. This as well. Okay, let's test render this. Mm. Before I render it though, its reflectivity is not that much. So let's bring this to 0.15 for its reflectivity. And let's render that. So as you can see, it's really shaping up now. You can you can really feel you can really feel it. Um, I don't like the separation I'm getting here, so I think I will delete that uh, this one here. Just remove it. Okay, uh, that's dramatic. <coughs> I'll just match the color then. So let's just match that color. Okay. No, sir. Yeah, you guys can look at reference. Um, let's check my reference again. Yeah, it's a nice blend. So just really blend it well. Uh I might bring this up a bit more. Whoa, too much. Yeah, I think I could do all of this. Yeah. And just bring this down a bit. Yeah. I don't know, guys. It's really, it's really up to you. <laughs> Maybe put a black outline there on the side. That will add a lot. I might make the pupil bigger. It's really simple. Just go in here. Then grow that selection. Uh, hit the scale. And soft select. Now make sure your soft selection doesn't go outside the iris. There. And then that should scale nice. This is also useful for when you're making blend shapes, when you're rigging the eye. Yeah, it's nice and scalable. Alright. Now, finally, for the final touch. Uh, before that, sorry. Make sure your glossiness is at 0.3. There. We want to blend that in nice. Okay. So, one last thing is let's go in and create another sphere. So, create a sphere. And since this time we kept note of the scale, it was 3. If we scale that up by 3 again, um, it's nice and uniform. Let's just add 0 0.1 so it doesn't crash. 3.1 on everything. Mm, you know what? 2.1 might be too much. Let's check. Let's check. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit too much. So 3.01. 3.01. Ha ha. Yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, then rotate this 90, add X, so it matches orientation. And finally, add a Mia. So right click, assign favorite material, Mia X passes. And finally here, for this one, just bring up transparency. All the way. Yep. And there you have it, guys. That's it. Take away this. Let's frame this up. And let's do a render. There you have it, guys. 
a nice cartoony eye. So it's roughing out here because we forgot one important thing. Uh, smooth out your just hip three, so we can smooth out our our geo, and it should look amazing. <clears throat> there you go. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, one more thing for the for the iris, since it is cartoony, we can break some rules, and one rule I do like to break is. Um, a rule with lighting so well it's more in the shading part of it but if you guys look at um, cartoony eyes like if you look at Pixar eyes and stuff um, the eyes kinda glow a bit here look at the render the eyes are very flat right it's not glowing you don't really feel much um, it's just you know it's not working out for you uh, you want it to glow a bit, just a bit. Um, I would throw this into additional color. Uh, before I do that, though, let's go and add a um, layered texture. Now, make sure that layered texture is black. All right, and I'll throw the ramp into the layered texture by default. Then it's under automatically it goes under now this black um, slate here I'll bring to 0.3 so what I did was what this layer texture is doing is bringing down the value um, 0.3 um, 0.7 yeah it's subtracting the value so black is being subtracted from here um, this much which is 0.7 times uh, so there see the more I increase the more value is being subtracted so I want to subtract 0.7 to make it 0.3 okay <laughs> so now I'll throw this into additional color here all the way on top additional color and if you look at the Mia material now it's kind of it's kind of glowing. It's not really glowing like emitting light, but it's not gonna be it's not gonna look like plastic anymore. See, so now it's popping out a bit more. It's really really spaced out. And now we're losing some of that um, some of the major lines. So what we can do is um, just darken that a bit more. So here, just bring that alpha to 0 0.8. I don't think 0 0.8 is enough. Bring it to 0 0.9 and then render that out. And there you have it, guys. Nice and nice and blended. Yeah. You know what? To control it just a bit more to really get the look you want. Um, let's add in one more uh, ramp so what I, I do is um, I'll just duplicate this so in textures I'll just select this ramp here and I'll go to edit duplicate shading network so I have a duplicate ramp and then now I shall take this away uh, colors there. Make this one black and this one white. Then, if I throw this into our layer texture here, default, it will go at the bottom. Now, I want to bring it on top. Middle click drag on top. Now, multiply. So now it's going to darken a bit. I'll bring that down just a touch. Around 0.5. Okay. So if I hit space for. Right, let me just view it closer. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what I want.
So now just hit render and there you have it guys. So yeah. Yeah, that's it. I hope this helped. Um, I really have fun making these videos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Uh, subscribe. And tell me what you guys want to see next. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the support, guys. Um, I've been getting new subscribers every day. And it's really cool. I'm having fun. Having fun with YouTube. Um, looking forward to making more videos, especially when I'm done with school. I'm down to my final stretch. So thanks a lot, guys, for your support. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Would be cool if you guys left more comments, really. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Cheers.